hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix digimon story time stranger game not launching or won't launch on pc so without wasting any time here follow the fixes the first fix is to simply restart your pc so just restart your pc once and once your pc restarts then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix 2 is to edit line vsync equal to 1 to vsync equal to 0 in digimon story time stranger saved game folder so open file explorer go to c drive open users folder open your username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data folder over here then click on view so check mark hidden items then open app data folder then open local folder then open digimon story time stranger folder right click on this graphic settings data and open with notepad now here you will see this pcing equal to 1 change it to 0 then save the file and then you can launch the game and check now this fix has solved the issue for many players so i hope this will work for you as well fix 3 is to delete digimon story time stranger saved game folder but please take a note you will lose all the save game progress so keep backup of this folder to the desktop first so again open file explorer go to c drive open users folder open your username folder open app data folder open local folder right click on digimon story time stranger copy it and go to the desktop and paste it to keep backup now once you have the backup right click on digimon story time stranger folder and then select delete to delete it now launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not Fix 4 is to change the keyboard layout language. So simply change the keyboard layout to English or any other language and then check. This has also solved the issue for many players. For example, a player has said that my French keyboard makes the game crash. But with English or Japanese keyboard, I don't have any problem. So you can try this. Now, fix 5 is to verify the game files. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Digimon Story Time Stranger Game, then go to properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification has been done then you can launch the game and check fix 6 is to modify the game launch options you can try minus dx11 or minus dx12 so open steam go to library right click on digimon install time stranger select properties in launch options type minus dx11 close the tab launch the game and check if it is not working then again go to properties this time type minus dx12 close the tab launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to properties remove this launch options close this and then try other fixes mentioned in this video fix 7 is to run the game as an administrator or try running the game in the compatibility mode so open steam go to library right click on digimon story time stranger select manage browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder right click on this digimon story time stranger exe file select properties go to compatibility tab Tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from here itself and check if your problem is solved or not if not solved then this time select run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 hit apply ok launch the game from here and check still not working select windows 7 from here hit apply ok then launch the game and check if it's still not working then this time select disable full screen optimization option as well hit apply ok and then launch the game from here and check if your problem is solved or not if it's still not working then go to compatibility tab untick all these three options hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix it is to windows security users allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall so in windows search type windows security and open it click on virus and threat protection scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now browse to the game installation folder go to c drive go to program files x86 folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder open digimon story time stranger folder select digimon story time stranger ex file and click on open to add it to the list now go back click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse now browse to the game installation folder open program files x86 folder open steam folder 
ओपन स्टीम एप्स फोल्डर ओपन कॉमन फोल्डर ओपन डिजिमॉन स्टोरी टाइम स्ट्रेंजर फोल्डर सेलेक्ट डिजिमॉन स्टोरी टाइम स्ट्रेंजर एक सी फाइल क्लिक ओपन क्लिक ऑन एड इन माई केस इट इज ऑलरेडी एडेड ना वंस इट इज एडेड हियर मेक श्योर प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक स्टिक मा देन क्लिक ऑन ओके टू सेव चेंजेस Now you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not, then if you are using any third-party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender, then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. Or you can also disable your antivirus program and then launch the game. And later you can turn on your antivirus program. Fix nine is to run the game on dedicated graphic card driver. So in Windows search type graphic settings, open it, click on Add Desktop App. Now go to the game installation folder. Open program files x86 folder. Open Steam folder. Open Steam apps folder. Open common folder. Open Digimon Story Time Stranger folder. Select Digimon Story Time Stranger X file. Click on Add. After adding it, expand it. Next to GPU preference, select High Performance, and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Ten solution is to update your graphic card driver. So simply update your graphic card driver to the latest version, and then you can launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. So if you're having NVIDIA graphic card driver, go to NVIDIA website. If you're having AMD graphic card driver, go to AMD website. If you're having Intel graphic card driver, then go to the Intel website. Links are given in the video description. So I'm showing the example of NVIDIA graphic card driver. Go to this NVIDIA website. Now, once you are on this NVIDIA website, you have to enter your graphic card driver version over here. Select Windows operating system, then click on Find. Then you have to download and install the latest version. The current latest version is 581.42. So whatever is the latest version, you have to download that. And you have to download the GeForce Game Ready driver. So click on View, then click on Download. Now, once this .exe file get downloaded, double click it to launch it. And select Yes to allow, and then click OK. You will see this screen. Click on Agree and continue. Then select Custom Advanced option, and then hit Next. Then tick mark Perform a clean installation box, and then click on Next. And after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done, restart your PC once, and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Eleven solution is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft website. Link is provided in video description. Now once you are on this Microsoft website, scroll down, click on x64 version, and then click on x86 version. You have to download both the version. Now you have to install both the version x64 and x86. So first click on x64 version. Now if you see repair option, then click on repair. If you see install option, then click on install. And install it. Now click on X86 version. Now if you see repair option, then click on repair. If you see install option, then click on install and install it. And after installing both the X64 and X86 version, simply restart your PC once, and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 12 is to disable overlay. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Digimon Store Time Stranger, select properties, and disable this option. Enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off. and then launch the game and check disable discord overlay launch discord on your pc then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay disable nvidia overlay open nvidia geforce experience settings general turn off in game overlay similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as geforce experience nvidia shadow play overlay amd overlay and then launch the game and check Fix 13 is to close the conflicting or unnecessary programs. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitors connected to PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrustmaster racing wheel and the task for afterburner, river tuner, HW info, Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from task manager. Close all of your tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix 14 is to update Windows. So go to Windows settings. on the left click on windows update then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then download and install them and then restart your pc and then launch the game and check fix 15 is to uninstall and reinstall the game simply uninstall digimon story time stranger game restart your pc and reinstall the game to c drive ssd drive if already installed in c drive then try installing it to another ssd drive or external ssd drive and then you can launch the game and check So I hope by following these fixes you were able to easily fix 
Digimon story Time Stranger not launching or won't launch issue on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.